and good morning everybody or good afternoon actually it's just after 12 o'clock it's the 3rd of July uh, 2023 Monday and uh, off on my run I don't normally run at this time of the day as you probably realize if you watch a lot of other my, a lot of my other videos but it's a bit gray and miserable this morning oh, I didn't go and now whilst it's not a spring day it's a pretty good day for July so I thought I'd do my run this time of the day I'm at Marsden Ridge you probably recognize from the shot right now this is where the park run course begins and I'm going to run the 10k course for the Goulburn Running Festival that's in August. Now if you watched my last set of videos you'll know that I it's the same course as I ran for the first lap of the half marathon uh, so um, you probably well you will see the same scenery hopefully I have some other things to talk about that will interest you and uh, you watch through all the clips that are involved in uh, making this run so you come down off the car park and down the uh, hairpin bends over the pedestrian bridge here and then up the hairpin bends on this side of the uh, river and that section uh, is probably the most challenging in terms of the uh, difficulty of the course Thank you. Now, if you're doing the 10k course uh, run, you only do it once. If you're doing the half marathon, you'll obviously have to do this section twice. All right. All of that out of the way. I want to talk about something related to running. Uh, let's get up the top of this bit here. Get my breathing a bit steadier. Yesterday, as I said, I ran this course and after I got home, I uh, watched some YouTube videos. No, I don't watch my own to get up to watch the viewing numbers. Uh, but I came across one from a woman, a young woman in the UK who's a runner her name's Philly P-H-I-L-Y which I think might be short for Phyllis or Philomena something like that uh, and she's a runner she has her own channel and films and runs talks about running all that sort of stuff but yesterday's video was a little bit different in that she was talking about 
an experience she'd had recently uh, where she'd gone to the USA on a uh, running scholarship. So as far as I could figure out, she was in the, she lived in the UK and she uh, must have been at uni or something like that. And she was running all sorts of events, you know, five, ten, half and full marathons. And she started getting uh, emails and stuff from universities or colleges as they call them mostly in the United States asking if she wanted to come and run for their team. And I suppose at first she thought it was some sort of scam. And then she looked into it a bit more and found out that the offers were genuine and were from the universities. And so she did a bit more research and looked into it a bit more. And eventually made contact with a couple of universities one of which was the University of Ohio I don't know anything about Ohio or Idaho or anywhere else in the States and I've never been but all I can gather, uh, college sport is really, really big. Big in terms of prestige and money that's spent to develop the athletes and so on. And it would seem, in some cases, well, that's only my assumption, so I may be wrong, that the prestige of the university is often based more on its achievements in its sports programs than it is on the academics. But that's kind of by the by. So, the gist of the office that this young lady got was that if she was interested and wanted to move to Ohio and run for the university team, they would give her a full scholarship to cover her tuition, take care of her accommodation and give her what she called a stipend which was basically some spending money. So after humming and ahhing for a while and going out there to meet the people and so on, she decided she would do it. Now bear in mind, as I said, I thought she was 20-something. Uh, if that was an offer that was made to you at that stage in your life, you'd probably take it too. So off she went. She left her family, a support network, her partner, and headed to Ohio. Now, she obviously didn't have any language difficulties, and nevertheless, she was away from home, away from a support network. And it seemed that almost from when she got there, things that she thought she should be doing and achieving weren't happening. 
In other words, she wasn't uh, posting the times of various events that she had expected. Now, from what I could work out from her commentary, the NCAA, National College Athletics Association, I think that stands for, uh, operates two seasons, an outdoor season, which is clearly what you think it is, and you run on grass and deer across country runs, and that sort of stuff. And then there's an indoor season where you run the same distances, only on synthetic tracks. Uh, you've got all sorts of video, physios, coaches, and all the support that you think you'd need to be able to concentrate on your running when you're supposed to be running, and sufficient academic support so you could get on with what you had enrolled for there. Uh, 